Hello, I'm Led Freddy from Craven Terry Guitars. Thank you so much for stopping in today. I appreciate your time very much, and I appreciate the opportunity to introduce to you uh, the Petroleum, our primary size solid brass resonator guitar. Before I get into her, the background on not only the Petroleum, but also all resonators and all Craven Tenor guitars, each and every one, it's a binder that, where I gather all information that I want to uh, instill in our guitars. So that includes things like the type of finishes, the types of woods, uh, the type of uh, hand processing, of the welding of our resonator guitar. All those kind of components are brought together. And it also gives me the opportunity to uh, discern if I have to have custom-made components or if I'm able to find existing uh, components. That's why all Craven Tenor guitars have their own true, authentic tenor components rather than six-string components cobbled together to create a guitar uh, that can be mass-produced and mass-sold. It's just a part of the development process. I don't want to create something that's cheap and knockoff. I want to create something that's long lasting, that you're going to enjoy, that's going to be with you throughout your entire musical journey. You can only do that if you have components that are made for the guitar that you're going to uh, create, okay? So enough of that. Let's have a good close look at uh, uh, the petition. Up top, you'll find our new 2024 headstock design, and that headstock design is embellished in hand-inlaid abalone. That abalone, by the way, comes from a food-first uh, natural farming uh, uh, organization that uh, uh, does not use wild abalone, uh, and the food is always the priority. So, it's ethically sourced. Uh, let's go to the back. The back tuners you'll find are uh, high gear ratio uh, uh, Wilkinson vintage style tuners. The reason for those is they are a high gear ratio. That means you can be much more precise in the tuning of your guitar. If they're a low gear ratio, uh, you might get a G, but it might be way off on the end, you're not going to be able to dial it in precisely. You can with the Wilkinson high gear ratio tuners. Let's go to the front and the sides of, of uh, uh, Patricia. You'll find that her neck is bound in uh, luxurious golden and brown tortoiseshell binding. Really gives it a true vintage 1930s look. The neck, of course, is Canadian solid, hard uh, maple. That way, if you ever want to, you can make a baseball bat out of it. Uh, it's much stronger than mahogany, and it has a different tone resonance than mahogany as well. Inside, underneath this truss cover, you'll find a truss so you can dial it in over its time. time uh, as we know, we all age. As do guitars, we need slight adjustments. That's what that allows you to do, okay? Uh, the fingerboard is uh, rosewood. Uh, the fret markers are abalone. Now let's get into the body. The body is a true solid brass that has been multi-dipped in it's actually silver, we call it chrome. So it is, as you can see, very, very bright and very shiny. And let me tell you, if you want to shave, if you want to, whatever you want to do, you can see the, the whole neighborhood in the high polish of this guitar, okay? Uh, the sound holes, rather than being F holes, are the old uh, paddle wheel uh, lattice style very popular in the 1920s, 30s. Uh, it produces a nice, bright uh, tone to your guitar. 
Uh, you can see we uh, bevel the edges of our neck. Uh, the neck joins at the 12th fret. It is a 25 inch uh, scale. Now inside, uh, inside behind our, our own hand polished, triple dipped uh, beehive style uh, hubcap is our own polished uh, hand, hand spun aluminum uh, resonator cone, biscuit style, true Delta Blues style uh, cone itself. The biscuit style creates that specific tone where a, uh, a spider cone creates more volume over tone. So this truly gives you that true Delta Blue style that uh, uh, really established uh, the, uh, the uh, brass style resonator itself. We all know that, that uh, uh, the Delta Blues was uh, developed after the original uh, players started using it. The original players weren't blues players. They played Hawaiian music, and that was the 1920s and early 30s. That's when it was captured and caught the attention of blues players. They picked it up, and they really established the resonator guitar for what it is today. Okay, so we know uh, that we have Craven Tuning Together components on the top, on the insides, on the bridge. Uh, here as well, you'll find that we have the 1930s style uh, tuners. They come from a Zephyr radio. Uh, I had those manufactured for me in phenolic. They're not plastic. Phenolic is a very strong, uh, stable surface and material that far exceeds the uh, life cycle of any plastic component itself. Uh, it's very similar to the 1930s Bakelite, but again, much stronger. So that's her in a nutshell. As, you, as I say, if you want to be able to play it acoustically, that's ideal. If you want to be able to plug it in, we have uh, our own hand-spun uh, uh, Telecaster style uh, pick up on there as well. You can plug it in. You can uh, really create a nice loud volume with it. Now, I just want to show comparison the size of a parlor size over a triolian. Uh, the Bell Creole is a triolian size guitar, which is much closer to an O body. Uh, it's still actually smaller than an O body, but you can see the size is actually, let me do it from side by side, you can see that uh, uh, the Patrician is a smaller size guitar. But when it comes to sizing like this, you don't have to worry that small means quiet or small doesn't mean it's got a nice sound. I can assure you that uh, when a guitar is cre uh, created properly, a small size guitar has got beautiful, bright and brilliant and clear Tones, and that's what you'll find in the Petroleum full brass body Craven tenor guitar. That's it in a nutshell. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate your time. Take care. Enjoy your friends and family while you have them. Thanks a lot.